Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Valorant game keep crashing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11. I will be sharing the updated and the best solution with you which I have already tested on my PC, on my game and on many other people who uh, just applied this setting and it really worked for them. So make sure that you watch the entire video. Do not skip any part. And if this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And if you have any problem, then let me know in the comment section. The very first thing that I recommend that you should check the hardware requirement for playing Valorant game. If you're using a low end PC or a laptop, then make sure that Valorant at least recommend that you should have four gigabyte of RAM. You should have operating system like Windows 7, 10 or 11. But what my recommendation is that you should have at least 6 GB of RAM, Windows 10 or Windows 11 optimized PC or laptop and also a dedicated graphic card. So once you are done with this, make sure that you are not running too many applications and programs in the background. Keep in mind that if you are using too many applications and program, so your Windows CPU and memory will go to the highest usage and that can crash your game or any other kind of applications. All right. So make a right click on your Windows taskbar and choose task manager. On Windows 11, you can right click on the Windows icon and choose task manager. Once you come here, you have to look for the application that you are not currently using or you don't need at a time when you are playing Valorant. Better close all the application. And after that, once you're done with playing game, you can use them right so let's say google chrome is occupying a lot of a uh, high memory and the cpu usage so i will go and close uh, up like google chrome then i have discord and if i scroll down i also see microsoft edge that is occupying the space then similarly you have to look on your pc and if you find any application any programs uh, that you're not using right now you don't need right now better close them once you are done from the top end menu, click on startup and now disable all the application that are being enabled here, all the third party applications. So what happens whenever you boot your computer, these application come along with the computer that even slow down your booting performance. And once it's been opened along with the booting process, this will be running in the background. This will occupy your CPU and the memory usage due to which you may have slow performance and even the crashing issues. So let's say on my end, I have few third party application like Epic Game Launcher. It's already been disabled. Fine. Then I have a lively wallpaper. It's been enabled, but I want to disable it. Then I have Microsoft team, which has been enabled. I have to disable it. If I need it, I can manually open them when the computer comes up. Then I scroll down and look for some other application like Steam here has been enabled. So I will disable it. Then you will find VG tray. You just need to keep this enabled. If it has been disabled, then try enabling it. All right. Once you are done, close it. Now, after this, I would recommend that you should also check that your graphic card is up to date. If it's been outdated or buggy, then you may have such kind of crashing issues. On your Windows 10 or 11, make a right click on the Windows icon and choose device manager. Now here you have to look for display adapters, double click on it and it will show you the kind of graphic card, graphic adapter you have like AMD, Nvidia or Intel. Make a right click on it and choose update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers. If you get this message, which means you already have the latest one. But if you get some other recommendation or probably it will start updating it, then your screen will go black. It will flash, which means the graphic card has been updated. All right. Once you are done, then close it. Also assure that you have installed all kind of Windows update. Click on the search box, type here update. Choose check for updates. Then again, click on check for updates and it will automatically start checking for the update. And if there are any, it will download and install it. So wait 
until the process is being completed and it's been installed properly once done you can restart your pc and check back that the issue has been resolved or not and if not then what else you can do you can go and stop overclocking if you are using any overclocking software like msi stop burner or intel xtu then you have to stop that why i'm recommending you because these software are basically meant to force your computer to give you the best performance and in case if your hardware doesn't uh, meet that if you are not your pc is not capable enough then what will be happening that the game or your computer will even crash so you can try uninstalling them check back that if this fix the problem and still if you have the issues you can reinstall those application again now the last and the least which is i recommend you that you should also change your valorant game graphic quality because sometimes if you are using a low-end pc or a laptop using the medium level or high level of graphic quality definitely will be crashing your game so open your valorant game and now on the very right and top you will see the setting gear icon click on it then choose settings then it will come to general from the top end menu click on video and then click on graphics quality now you can see that this is the setting that you need to keep in your computer if you have a mid-level or a low-end pc then you have to keep this kind of settings if you have a very good configuration pc then you can avoid this now you can see material quality texture quality detail quality you have to keep this to low and once you are done you can close it again restart your pc and check back that the game crashing issues in valorant has been fixed or not and still if you have the issues then you have to finally try reinstalling the valorant game on your windows search box type here appwiz.cpl then from the suggestion choose appis.cpl control panel item the uninstall or change of program will be coming up now here you have to uninstall both valorant and riot vanguard so scroll down until you find valorant here it is make a right click on it and choose uninstall once done then you also need to look for riot vanguard make a right click on it and choose uninstall once uninstall restart your pc go back to the valorant official website download the game again and i'm very sure that you'll be uh, getting rid of this black screen or the crashing valorant game the problem will be fixed so that's all guys for today and if this work worked for you if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and if you have still any issues or any related problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye